Hi folks, Carol Ann here from SassyTownhouseLiving.com and I wanted to go over with you today um, some desktop management software and I wrote a post in the past about a program that I use called Nimi Places that allows you to organize your desktop in the most effective way. Uh, one of the things that drives me personally crazy is icons all over the place that really don't have any rhyme or reason to them. So I've tried a few different desktop management software programs and for multiple reasons I ended up using Nimi Places. And I will link to all of the information in the down bar so be sure to check that out. So right now I'm sharing with you one of my monitors. I have dual monitors and I wanted to share this with you to give you an idea of what Nimi Places looks like. Because in my post, I just let you know what they were, but I really didn't go into an explanation of how they look and how they work. So, as you can see, I have multiple containers, as they're called, in Nimi Places. And I've named them various titles to indicate what type of software hides inside of them. So the first one is all my Canon software, and then I have video apps here, image apps here, and so on. And the great thing about them is they allow me to be very organized and know exactly where everything is without having to go to my start menu, look in my applications, or put icon um, icons all over my desktop that have no you know, reason to them, and I, I really can't take that mess. The good thing about them is you can move them around, as you can see, I can fiddle with them, resize them just by dragging the corners of each window, and get them to look exactly the way I like. And you can also right click on each container and sort by various items within each menu. You can also have different styles as well. So if you like a fixed grid icon or a scaled grid, you can have tiny icons, small icons, large icons. Just play around with it and kind of get a feel for the way that you want things to look. And it takes a little bit of getting used to at first, but trust me, you're really going to appreciate being able to have all of your icons in one place. So if I need imaging software, I know exactly where to look and then I just double click this icon within the container. And they're really pretty easy to use in terms of installation. Um, once you get used to installing the first container, everything else is smooth sailing from there. And I'm going to show you in the next step how to create a container and what you need to do to make sure that your container is loaded with all of the icons that you need. So be right back.